Ladybug Lane soaps, and this is Margie. And yes, there are my my gorgeous, gorgeous, stylish goggles, which keeps any possible light from splashing in my eyes. Alrighty, so today I am making another. I think this is my sixth batch of soap for the Christmas lineup, and. I have blended two different fragrance oils and essential oils. It's a combination. Okay, so the fragrance oil that I or fragrance oils that I'm using, it's the Jumping Juniper. Can you see that from Nurture Soap? And this is an essential oil fragrance oil blend. 16 ounces and it is just scrumptious it has your lemons and lime and your juniper berries and all sorts of goodies in there And the other one that I'm mixing in there, it's Brambleberries Lemon Verbena Yankee type. And this that's the eight ounce bottle. And this is the little puppy that I used for that uh, Lemon Verbena train wreck video. And so I have, since I'm combining these, and there there is a little bit more of this than this one. And so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that everything will go well. And this is what, this is what it looks like. It's uh, blended together. You have to get a little dirty there. So it's kind of nice and clear. And I was thinking of just... Of just the color now I think I, I think I will just leave the base alone I'm not going to add any titanium dioxide because when I was making uh, those starfishes and everything um, from the lemon verbena see it's, it's just kind of a nice a nice natural color no discoloration other than maybe just it's probably hard to tell Hello there. <laughs> I'm getting silly because I'm getting so tired. It, it looks like a little starfish just trying to waddle. Yeah, so it just has just a little hint of yellow in it. So I think I'm just going to just leave this alone and probably have the majority of just the natural and where to go. And then, of course, for the lemon, um, I'm using the Firefly color here there we go almost bit ya and so that's kind of it's a little a little I shouldn't say darker but it's a little darker than like the the yellow the yellow vibrance from nurture soap but it's nice and I think this is brambleberry and then here is the the brambleberries stormy blue mica and let me grab this so remember this video the lavender and sage and I don't know if it's gonna pick up that well but if you can see that blue in there I know maybe I'll take this out so I don't want to use a bunch of it but I was thinking I would like something to kind of represent the juniper okay is it gonna focus yeah so you can see kind of a little bit of the blue in there a little blue on the side yeah I really I really liked it like that bar so we shall see and so I do not so I think I'm gonna hold off putting the fragrance oil in just before I'm gonna pour and I don't think I'm gonna do anything Fancy, fancy schmancy, because I'm just not quite sure, you know, how this, uh, 
fragrance oil is going to behave on me and I really don't want another train wreck. So, okay, so there's that. I have my kale and clay in there. And let's get this in this hand. And I am using more water this time. It's my two to one ratio. Whoops. So it behaved pretty well, but and like I say, I think it helped to use more water with that lemon verbena Yankee type. And then I did heat up the, the fragrance oils to like around 90 something before I added it to the oils. So, you know, it's nothing fancy schmancy, but it does smell very good between the lemon verbena and the juniper berries. So we shall see how that blue turns out. And uh, already, gang, so I think I'll probably be cutting it in a couple of days. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Bye bye.
Alrighty, I am back for the Lemon Verbena Yankee type with Juniper. And didn't that turn out nice? Um, so I just made this, you know, yesterday afternoon. And uh, isn't that kind of interesting little bottom? And I don't know if, if this is, it looks like just a little bit of ash, I'm not quite sure. I used, I needed to use the two to one water and light ratio because of the lemon verbena Yankee type fragrance oil from Brambleberry. And like I think I mentioned in the video, make sure you're in view here. Yeah, that if you look at the video of the of my train wreck one, it was the same fragrance oil, but I think I had used a uh, less water in that one. Okay, well, I'm not quite sure what I'm saying there. Oh, I don't know if it's a bunch of glycerin rivers or what in there. Kind of a big plop of a blue. Hmm. Don't know about that. Yeah, I was thinking that blue would have been a little bit different. Yeah, so I don't know if, if this looks like uh, if the oils haven't been absorbed yet, or I don't know if you can... Hmm, I don't know what to think of this. Huh. But anyway, it does smell good. I'm not quite sure what that thing, it looks like a little upside down polywog or something, goodness. And a little bit of green getting mixed in there with the blue and the yellow. Yeah, I think I'll definitely need to steam this one. Get the soda ash look off and then it'll be nice and shiny. Yep, definitely got some mixing going on there. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, you know, so this is why I take a lot of notes, is to say that the yellow was good, and maybe, and maybe the blue I'll leave out next time. You know, but you just never, ever, ever know, and that's, you know, this is just all part of experimenting. It's just trying different things. It's not like you're going to be hung for it or tossed off a bridge or anything. You know, you just, you just give it a try, right? That's what I always say. Just give it, give it a whirl. I don't, I don't like to be too, too bashful about putting certain micas in and you know you kind of have a 50-50 chance of, of it doing what you want it to do, right? <laughs> yeah, I think what happened was the blue, the blue was like really, really runny, so in my almighty wisdom, I thought that I would thicken it up a little bit and then, pow, it got, you know, way too thick. So that's how it goes. And you know what? Well, let's see. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, a couple little dots. Yeah, I can tell that this definitely has the soda ash on it, which is funny because I usually, always, where's the mail, do a two to one. But yeah, I can tell. So anyway, gang, alrighty, so that was the seventh one. So everybody cross your fingers that this other company sends me my... My goodies, 
tomorrow. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.